or am I? So I'm kind of working down the hill, getting into the deeper soil that's in these valleys here because I'm listening for really deep targets. But my first thing that I dug, I can see it from here. Not great, but I got to show it to you because I have to show you at least one each day that I dig one. If you look in the hole, there is, do you recognize it yet? Now it's a horseshoe. Oh, it's a whole one. It's a whole. There's a whole horseshoe right there, and that could have easily been a big old, big old artillery fragment. Uh, but yeah, we know there's decent sized iron still in here, and we're looking for artillery fragments, artillery shells, gun tools, and stuff like that. So that's a really good sign. That's the beauty of a uh, sycamore tree right there. It's actually looks like it's a three. Yeah, it's in three big branches of the tree going up. Wow, that's really cool. You don't see that very often, but this is a monster. I mean, look how big it is compared to me. I guarantee this thing was here during the American Civil War, which was fought about 160 years ago, more or less. Oh. Look around here. It looks like it's hollow. So it might be a big old raccoon den up in there. Man, that's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Freaking awesome. But we're here to dig relics and not look at trees. Well, maybe you are, but I like to look at trees. So I won't show you too many of these, but I just want to show you one. This is a shotgun shell, 12 gauge. The base of it is a uh, is made out of like a copper alloy. And you hear that. That sounds really good on a metal detector. Now, a lot of times when we find these in the woods, we only find the base part. This particular shotgun shell has plastic on the top. And that does not rot away. But back in the day, like 1960s, maybe before, this was made out of cardboard. So the cardboard would rot away, and we just find those little bases right there. So I would say the majority of the hunting and the shotgun shells that at least I find were of the cardboard variety. I just saw some rust pop out of the hole right here. And I can look down there and see a piece of iron. I suspect that's going to be an artillery shell fragment. Let's pick it up and see. Yes, indeed. That's what it is. That's my first... Civil War relic of the day. This would have been the sidewall, outside sidewall of it. And you see how it curves in right there? That's probably a dyer shell, which is a certain type of three inch artillery shell that they would have fired during the, during the war. Lots of different kinds of shells. If it didn't have that little hook on the bottom, I, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you what it was, but since it has that hook, and I know there's dyer shells out here. But yeah, that's a nice little find, holding history right in my hand. Hasn't seen the light of day in 160 years, more or less. This second piece of artillery shell, and it's uh, probably from the same type. Got the curvature there and the flat bottom. That might even fit together with the one I just found. It's probably out of the same one that exploded. Let me, uh, give me a minute. I'll find that other one in my bag here. We'll see if they fit together. Like a little, uh, little puzzle. I'll let you know in just a minute. So I did try to see if those two pieces fit together, and they didn't. Probably from the same shell though. Another nice irony piece right here. I'm hoping it's another fragment. I uh, have not seen it yet. I don't see any rust, but I know it's iron. You see it? <laughs> not very big, is it? All right, there it is. Let's see what we have here. This, my friends, is gonna be another piece of artillery shell. I'm not sure it's out of the same one or not I mean, it's a kind of a small chunk well that's the base right there probably so it would have gone like that so you get an idea of the size of the well let's just call it shrapnel that would have been flying through the air out here just dug this doodad i'm thinking that's probably another splinter of an artillery shell not 100 percent on this one though but i suspect it could be so you got a little fork yeah that's a nice two-time Civil War era fork. Probably lost by a soldier out here. This thing's going to be fragile. So it looks like we have a nice little nugget right here. That's probably a case shot, which would be a round ball. This is lead. This would be a round ball that was inside of that cannonball that exploded that we're finding pieces of. Now, I did a whole video uh, about the difference between case shot and canister shot, uh, but this would have been inside of an artillery shell. And we're flying out. Chase the guy that had the fork away. Patrick's over there still looking around. We found that fork. I could have chased him away. Who knows? So we have another nice little heavy target. It's way down on the bottom of that hole. It's in my hand. I suspect it's going to be either bullet or case shot. You ready? 
it's heavy <laughs> all right so yeah that's going to be another another case shot probably out of that artillery shell that came flying over and burst overhead and yet another case shot you can always tell can usually tell case because it's kind of misshapen and oftentimes it'll have a black coating on it kind of like that one does uh some of these shells could have had a hundred of these in them so it's not surprising to find a bunch of them i'll take it though that's why i just dug that little piece of case shard up i was back filling a hole and i happened to look over to the side look there's the tree that's the one i climbed up i don't know a couple weeks or a month ago and stood up there and took a stupid picture <laughs> not going to do it again today though or am i dug up a little iron thing here i was hoping to be a shell fragment but it's just uh maybe like a link off a chain or something i'm not sure but i glanced over to my side and looky it's an old deer skull see lots of dead uh old animals out here that didn't make it of course none of us are going to make it are we not going to make it out of here alive that's for sure so you get a little iron ball oh yeah yeah that's a little iron ball that's going to be k shot so that's the so, first civil war artifact really sure awesome is. That is well that's it. a that's a killer right there man yes. now we say transition from beach to virginia dirt west virginia dirt there you go complete yep that's what it is 100 percent. congratulations yeah. <laughs> the <hat. laughs> there you go what else you got oh, oh. this thing was way in the ground i think i was ever gonna find you it you don't know what that is like an old spoon it's an old spoon it's a big old like cook spoon yeah like this will be civil war era too 100 percent out of here that's crazy so that's a big old like you know oh, big old ladle a civil you, war 100 percent making me happy yeah that's pretty cool man that's that <laughs> again guarantee a civil war perhaps. so where were you when you found that what's that where were you when you found oh, that I'm actually up on top, of the on top? okay so they're probably camped yeah. up on top there there's a there's a, a, a ring up there so i've seen like a half moon of a but it's uh probably about 20 25 feet from it yeah that's probably no fire pit because you can actually still see them out here where they have the ro yeah. rings this is awesome yeah. yeah i might work are you going to be up there for a while yeah come get I'm, I'm, i might work my way up i want to yeah, see that so we decided to move out to the field uh go over to the camp area and we're working our way to that direction i just found a little piece of iron which is probably an artillery shell fragment i'm like 99.9 percent .9%, uh quite deep so we're going to dig artillery show you know keep digging iron signals and whatnot hopefully we'll get a big old cannonball before the day's over it's a few feet away for another small fragment definitely 100 percent artillery shell from the american civil war so i just found a small harness buckle that could be civil war error but maybe not it's really hard to say with these things this is kind of interesting it's like a it's a piece of iron but it's like a flat flattened hook so I guess it's some type of latch, maybe latch that would catch on something right there. That could actually be Civil War era. It's hard to say if it's from the camp or not, but it's an interesting little find. All right, we're gonna go ahead and show uh, Bo this part, and hopefully it's something good. It's a piece of brass, John Deere. Is it? No, come yeah, on, that man. Goes... John Deere. Yeah, it's green. I guess that's John Deere green. Yeah, it is. It's... You know what that is? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You know everything. <laughs> yep, yep. It's Pretty actually part. pretty cool. That's part of a rifleman's buckle. Big two-piece buckle. See, I just told him. I think it's where the belt went through. Yeah. That's or a it's rifle. a big yeah. buckle that clips together. Yep. Yeah. Dude. Awesome, man. I should have got a little more excited <laughs> like I normally do. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, man. that's a good that's piece what, of brass. That's what I thought it was. It's a rifleman's buckle oh, piece. Nice. Yeah, it's a keeper keeper thing for it yeah there's still stuff in there yeah it's probably there's rifleman's stuff. buckle down there you should go get it i was screaming yeah i gotta go back guys <laughs> thanks bro that's pretty good yeah, yeah you know, i can't fool him anymore yeah, say that to john well, i've got a little squeaker here and i think i can see some lead so maybe it's a bullet oh, that's a bullet that's a cleaner bullet if you look at it real close you can see that's the bottom of it that's the bottom edge and then that's the little pin that sticks out that would hold on a zinc washer 100% cleaner bullet I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick picture of that just like it is and then we'll dig it up together all right so let's go ahead and dig it up in the old finger Oi. come on Bubby <laughs> there we go so yeah that's 100% what it is 
That's a Williams cleaner number one. The first model of the Williams cleaner. Pretty cool, huh? We'll take it. It's a good Civil War relic. Troll treating singing and Patrick is happy looking, so let's just see what he found. Over. I got. I think it's what I think it is. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, that's a. Are we on a button? Button or button back? I'm not sure. I think it's just the back of a New York button. Oh, oh so you got to be kidding! <laughs> I thought it was the back of a New York button. You I really did. Too much like a button. Yeah. Oh yeah, we just. That's a Civil War part. relic, though. But yeah. Uh, still, pretty cool. Ah. Uh, Darn it. All right, we'll get it. We'll get it. It's a buck shot, probably. Yeah. That's better from a buck and ball. Like or a pistol bullet. It could be either one. It could be a pistol bullet. It's a little big for a buck and ball, isn't it? It is a pretty good size. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Most excellent. <laughs> <laughs> get yourself something. Get a bullet. Woo, I got a bullet. Yeah. Golly. Just in time, yeah. dude. Can you see it? <laughs> oh yeah! Yes, we I'm not sure what it is I yet. Just, I just saw it. I know it's some kind of Hold bullet. On, let me get my camera going. <laughs> Holy smoke! <laughs> oh, dude, it looks that's, like it's a pulled one. That's too. your first bullet. It, it looks like it's been sprue pulled. That looks no. like a gardener, maybe. How, how many YouTube channels are? <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by you. <laughs> hey, dueling YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, <laughs> back in the God. woods, and Ron called us over, and he's like, "Man, I got my first bullet ever. This is his first Civil War bullet. Let's hope that's what it is. I think it is. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> good job, man. Yeah. That's right. Oh, and it's been pulled. Look at that. Yep. yep. His first bullet's a pulled my one. Dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, we better start. Good job, we might, man. We might have to stay in this Thank area for a few minutes. Yeah. Mike's been like for the last hour. I just want to go home and rest. I'm now thirsty. He's got yeah. Hope. <laughs> Congrats, buddy. yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> we're pretty much ending the day. So, <laughs> Mike, we'll have a few Mike more minutes. There, huh? So, we're almost back at the vehicles, and the day's about over. I have what might be my last target in my hand, and I think it's a nickel. I was hoping it was. <laughs> <laughs> going to be a buffalo nickel, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not. Um, yeah, it's just like a modern, modern style nickel. Yep. I can't really read the date on it. I'm not going to really bother. It's probably like 1983. What a way to end today. <laughs> All right, so we're calling it a day. Mr. Mike is full of energy, not. Oh, I'm tired. It's a day. Hey, you know, it's really too late, but you know when we were standing up there doing our three-way with the uh, cameras, <laughs> yeah. should have said the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Then we could have yeah. fought over who was who. <laughs> Congratulations on your bullet, man. I That's awesome. Stoked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're headed out of here, man. Yeah. Half of us are tired. I think the other half wants to keep going, but. No, I'm my, my dog's barking right now. <laughs> okay. Too, we'll see you on the next one. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep.